there are two definitions that I want to propose. A simple one and a mathematical one. The simple definition is that a point cloud is a bunch of three-dimensional points that represent the surface of objects captured by a sensor. The more mathematical definition is that a 3D point cloud is a set of endpoints in the 3D Euclidean space, where each point is represented by its three Cartesian coordinates. This means that each point is described by its position along the x, i, and z axis. To give you a better idea of what a point cloud looks like, here's an example. Let's say we want to capture the surface of a lounge. A sensor capture points on the surface of the lounge, and those points would be stored as a point cloud. Each point represents a specific location on the lounge's surface, and the point cloud as a whole represents the shape of the lounge. As we discussed earlier, a point cloud is a set of endpoints in 3 space where each point is represented by its three Cartesian coordinates. These coordinates are typically measured in meters or feet and represent the position of the point relative to some reference frame. However, point clouds can also have additional properties like color, intensity, and classification. The color values are assigned to each point to give it a specific color, while intensity values represent the strength of the signal returned by the sensor. Classification values are assigned to each point to identify its object class, such as ground, vegetation, or buildings. The number of points in a point cloud can range from just a few to billions or even trillions of points. The size of a point cloud depends on the area covered by the sensor, the density of the point cloud, and the level of detail required for the application. Now, Let's talk about the different types of sensors used for acquiring point clouds. There are three main types of sensors used for 3D point cloud acquisition. Terrestrial laser scanners are typically mounted on tripods and capture point clouds by emitting laser beams that sweep over the scene. They measure only the angular coordinates, horizontal and vertical, and the distance to each point. After measuring these parameters, a transformation is made to convert the polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. Aerial sensors capture point clouds by flying over the scene in an airplane or helicopter. They use a combination of laser sensors and cameras to capture the scene from different angles. These sensors can cover large areas in a short amount of time, making them ideal for large-scale applications. On the other hand, spatial sensors mounted on satellites provide a unique perspective for acquiring point clouds over large areas, such as entire cities or even entire countries. Point clouds have become increasingly popular due to their ability to capture the real world with high precision. However, working with point clouds is not an easy task, as they have several unique characteristics that must be taken into consideration. Firstly, they are regular meaning that they have dense and sparse regions. For example, if you were to scan a forest, the point cloud would have a lot of dense points where there are many trees and sparse regions where there are fewer trees or open spaces. Secondly, they are unstructured and have no grid, meaning that each point is independent. And the distance between adjacent points is not fixed. For example, if you were to scan a rock, the point cloud would be irregularly spaced with no set pattern or grid. Thirdly, point clouds are unordered and permutation invariant, meaning that as a set, point clouds do not have a specific order and any ordering can be considered equivalent. For example, if you were to scan a chair from different angles, the point cloud data would be the same, regardless of the order of the points. These three characteristics of point clouds can make it challenging to analyze and process them, but they also make them powerful for representing complex and irregularly shaped objects.